Hi everyone, it's been a while. I took a break from social media, mostly from Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. I felt like there was so many things going on in my life and the last thing I needed was like scrolling on social media. So I was just trying to break off a bad habit. I'm just having a lot more clarity in general. So a lot of things have changed and I thought I would give you an update on things that have been happening ever since moving here to Guam. So I recently moved back to Guam five months ago. So after I made this video about moving from Guam to Germany, I thought I would make an update on how things are going and how life has been like in Guam lately. So to start off, the reason why I moved back to Guam was because my husband decided to separate from the military. And how we met was through the military and how I ended up following him to Okinawa and to Germany. And I have more on that video here. And in a time where we weren't sure about income, stability, and like just a huge lifestyle change in general, we decided to go for it. And really the huge appeal for me was moving back in with my family and living near the beach again. And as the months went by after we moved here, we later found out how it was actually pretty good timing that we ended up moving to Guam too. So let's get into the moving process and let's start off with housing. So just last month, we finally moved into the house where Vivek and I will be staying for the next year. Hi there, so we finally moved into our house. So all our furniture is here, including our favorite table kind of forgot how much stuff we own and it's it's really a lot so it took about five months for our furniture to arrive from germany to guam and it actually arrived two weeks before the eta that they gave us and when the furniture was delivered it was so much it just made me realize how much that we own a lot of it that we don't need we've been living with essential things for the last few months and now all our stuff is here and it just made us realize we have a lot of stuff moving just kind of helps you realize that you don't need a lot of things and it was only just over the weekend that we finally got rid of the bulk we sold the extra furniture that we had and donated the rest of the clothes and household items that we didn't need but all in all the moving was great nothing was missing and nothing was broken so while moving our furniture went smooth moving our car was not as smooth. So before we moved out of Germany, we gave away my beater car to Vivek's friend for free. And then we shipped Vivek's car and it took about four months for it to arrive in Guam. And it arrived two weeks after the ETA we were given. Everything was fine for the most part. The little tiny crack on the windshield that I was worried about didn't get any bigger during shipping. But Vivek did notice two dents on the hood. And passing by, you can't even tell, but once you see it, you cannot unsee it. But he got a quote through Atkins Kroll here who can fix it, and they said it would cost like over $700. So Vivek sent that quote over to the military and they paid him that money. So he's gonna get his car fixed. Moving the cast was a real hassle in Germany because here in Guam specifically, there's just a lot of paperwork and tests that they require. So once we arrived in Guam, the Department of Agriculture picked up our cats straight from the airplane and then we were able to pick them up from the vet like two hours later. And our cats pretty much transitioned pretty easily, I think just because being cooped up in a carrier for like, I don't know how many hours and traveling by flight all the way from Germany to Korea to Guam was just like really taxing on them. So having a larger space, a house was really relaxing and really relieving. Which is saying a lot because it's not easy to move cats as well as it is to move dogs. All right, now for work. So the reason why moving to Guam ended up being a good decision and good timing was because when I saw my friend Vanessa, she told me that there was a job opening at her work. And I hadn't had a nine to five in years, so I felt really inadequate and really rusty. And it was for a marketing position with good pay, so I thought, well, I may as well try. Hello, I'm waiting in the car for a second interview with this company. Just really nervous. I just hope I do really well. I really want this job. It seems like a really great fit for me. Wish me luck. And after a few weeks and a couple of rounds of interviews, I got the job. Ready? Cheers to you getting the job. Oh, yeah. It's a done deal. <laughs> yes, it's a done deal. <laughs> it is done deal. No, Jojo, you got it. No, I'm telling you, you got it. I have the job? You have the job. What, what do you mean I have the job? Like, I mean, I'm not the official one because I'm not HR, but I'm allowed to tell you. Really? That you yeah. have the job. Really? I have the job? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I love you. I'm so proud of you. 
I manage a loyalty program for a gas station and convenience store and there's a lot of perks for the job and everyone is so nice and they're so friendly and I can tell they are all passionate about their work too. And because Vivek separated from the military, he decided to use his GI Bill and go to university here. So the GI Bill is where the military will cover your tuition, your school fees, your books, and even your housing. So now he's going to college and originally he chose accounting as his major but he decided to go with agriculture because it just brought him a lot more joy and it's just a lot more interesting to him and it worked out well because Guam has a really good agricultural program and lately he's been really into growing mushrooms and hopefully turn that into a commercial farm so those are my updates lately life has definitely changed and I'm glad I just took a step back from social media just to like take a break because so much stuff was happening a lot of things have been going on I definitely feel like I've dropped the ball on my blog, on creating videos. So right now I'm trying to create new workflows for me to put out videos more often and put out videos that take a lot less time to edit too. So I'm kind of working with a video editor but my husband also got me this loop deck so that when I edit videos myself it actually be faster so pretty much like all the shortcuts are here. I still have to play around with it because it is kind of intimidating but so far, I've been loving it. And right now, I'm working on launching the Glow Getter Planner. And I just took photos of the planner and hopefully it'll be on Etsy, available to ship internationally. There's a lot of logistics I have to get into, but hopefully I'll have it out in a few weeks. I feel like I've been blogging and vlogging for like the last six years. And every time I make these videos, I do feel a lot more grounded in myself and just more a lot more happy creating. And I felt like that's something I lost in the last, I don't know, how many months or maybe even like the last couple years and I think a huge contributing factor of that was the pandemic and having lockdowns and staying in the house. I know in the last couple years I did get a lot more anxious and moving here to Guam with a lot of stuff happening at the same time I got even more anxious but my mental health has been better lately. I've been going back to journaling so that's been like one huge help. Every weekend I try to go swimming with my husband and we have a little picnic by the beach so that's another grounding thing I like to do. I think it's getting back into nature and into physical activities. I just feel like that has me be more grounded and more like myself when it comes to those things. So thank you so much for watching again. My name is Jojo. I like talking about travel, blogging, and just like my whole lifestyle. I was born and raised in Guam. I'm also Penai. A lot of people ask me that question too. And if you're interested in more videos from me, I would highly recommend you subscribe to my channel and I hope to get a new video out to you in the near future. So I'll see you in that one. In the meantime, you can check out my playlist for all these different videos that I have. You guys have a great week. Bye.